Today we're going to make a slip case. Uh, I'm standing here at the board chair and I have my board already you know, laid out here. And uh, the grain of the board is running this way. I've already squared it off on these two sides here. This is the book that I'll be making the slip case for. So what I'm going to do right now is make a rough cut of a board slightly larger than I'm going to need for the whole uh, slip case. This one seems to be fine to run all the way across the side there. So now I'll make this a cut. And the reason I'm cutting it larger is because I'm going to line the board before I actually cut the pieces of the slip case out. And the grain is always going to be running parallel to the spine, just like it would if you were going to be making, say, a case of the book. This also makes the, uh, the sides of the box run with the grain running around the box instead of being uh, short grain. I'm going to cut one more piece. this and then I'm going to cut it in two unequal pieces so that I have a long piece and a short piece and I'm going to glue them together like this. This will be the gauge for making the actual size box when we start to cut the pieces out. Okay now I'm going to line the board. This is the paper I'm going to use to line the, the board with and my board. So I'll just take this and I'll cut a piece with my Ulfa knife. That's a little bit larger than the board. Put the excess away. And then I'll take the board and glue it out. But before I do that, I'm going to put the gauge together. So I'll take the uh, small piece and glue the gauge together so I have it drying. Back it up. Okay. Now, to line this, I'll just take my roller and the glue and I'm going to glue out the board. It's always better to glue out the board when you have a thick thing and a thin thing to glue together. That way uh, you minimize the warping. If you glue out the, the paper, it will stretch and it has a much stronger pull on the board as it dries and it will cause it to warp. This way you cut down on, on that kind of you know, problem. So this is all glued out now. And because the paper is larger, I don't have to worry about getting it exactly on the edge here. So I'll put it on, because it's a very close size and width-wise. And then rub this down lightly first, because the paper will absorb some moisture and it may bubble up a little bit. And then you have your folder. Get the edges. If you have a roller like this, this is very helpful because this eliminates a lot of problems if you have a roller like this when you're laminating. Okay, the paper is expanding because this is a very thin paper and I see little bubbles coming up. I'll just knock those down with the, uh, with the folder. Okay, now I'm going to turn this over and trim the paper down to the board.
Okay, now we're ready to actually cut the pieces out. <laughs> 